Happy Kids TV. The Holy Tales. Hello, kids, and we're back with a new story about one of Jesus's disciples. Say hello to your friends, Tabby, Gumbo, and Freckles. Hello. Who are we listening about today? Well. Today's story is about Philip. Uh oh. Okay. Philip was one of Jesus's disciples who preached in Phrygia. He is known to have died a martyr in Hierapolis. Like Peter and Andrew, Philip too came from the town of Bethsaida, and he too probably was a Galilean fisherman. Philip's name comes to life in the Gospel of John, even though his name was recorded in the first three Gospels. The Gospel of John tells us that Philip was one of the first to whom Jesus addressed the words, "Follow me." When Philip met Christ for the first time, he said to Nathaniel, "We have found him, of whom Moses and the prophets did write." Nathaniel was skeptical about following Jesus, but Philip was not, not even once. He was known not to have a skeptic mind. He was simple and had abundant faith in Christ. Philip was a man with a warm and loving heart. He wanted to do a lot of things for others and help them, but he did not understand or see how it could be done. It is said. That Philip died by hanging, and before he died, he requested his body to be wrapped in papyrus and not in linen, like Jesus, because he thought his body was not worthy of getting treated in the same way as his Lord. His apostolic symbol is a basket, and most importantly, it was Philip who had stressed the cross as the sign of Christianity. And victory. Whoa, that was a nice story. So it is because Philip that we have the cross as the sign of Christianity. Hmm. Yes. Didn't you enjoy the story? My friends and I surely did. So come back soon and keep watching. Bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole